Hey, I'm Louis Palmer and welcome to PlayBetterDrums.com and welcome to a lesson on Adenis Chambers Groove and more specifically a little piece of vocab he uses uh, in his grooves at the beginning of the bar. And this was always a mystery to me. I've heard him play it thousands of times across CDs he's played on, uh, solos he's done, videos on YouTube. He plays it a lot and I never used to know exactly what was going on. It was always a mystery until someone um, showed me a clinic footage of a clinic where someone asked him to slow it right down and he did that but he didn't go over the sticking so it was still a little bit difficult to work out exactly what was going on. Anyway, so through some trial and error and practicing I managed to figure it out and it's actually very simple um, but it played quickly, it looks complicated and the movement is a little tricky um, coming from the hi-hat to the snare drum with the right hand and back again and not getting tangled up. But essentially it's just a little flurry of 30 second notes at the beginning of the bar up to speed sounds like this. So now we can slow it right down so you can see what's going on and deal with it chunk by chunk. So the first thing to learn is this. The next thing to learn is that plus an accented hi-hat afterwards and that's where the rest of the bar of groove begins. That's how I separate it between the initial lick of 30 second notes and then that accented hi-hat is where the rest of the groove carries on. The rest of the groove is fairly standard, but just remember there's a few ghost notes in there, like the one after a backbeat immediately after, that's, you know, doesn't, may not seem super important, but it is and it really adds to the flow. So there's lots of ghost notes going on. and try and pay attention to that accented eighth note pattern on the hi-hat that goes throughout. So then it's just a case of speeding it up and practicing that initial flurry of 30 second notes at the beginning of the bar and getting used to that and the movement and not getting tangled up. And that's the next variation when we open the hi-hat like that. Exactly the same groove, just opening the hi-hat in those places.
so while practicing this phrase, I came up with a couple of variations uh, when I was messing around with combinations and different ways to orchestrate that initial 30-second note flurry at the beginning. Uh, particularly being a traditional grip player, it's more difficult for me uh, with the grip being more open um, to keep that left hand out of the way um, and just the way Dennis plays uh, match grip, but not only that, he has the hi-hat very low and very close to the snare drum and plays it amazingly fast. Anyway, so because I found, found it difficult at certain speeds, I was messing with different things and I came up with this one. So just slightly less, I think one less 30 second note and orchestrate it differently. So if I slow it right down. So the rest of the groove is exactly the same, it's just the beginning bit and that left hand hi-hat is really important that that's accented. Same thing applies, we can put those open hi-hats in. And now we have those two variations, we can put them together. <laughs> 